Ciao, I'm Enzo. I'm Celia. This is a Piazza Talk, a channel about our life in Lucca. And in the Tuscan Hills. Please hit the subscribe button. Grazie. The Renaissance walls of Lucca are Lucca's playground. Let's go for a little walk in early spring. It changes every day. It's so windy today, let's just walk. It's a good idea. It's not doing under the Tuscan sun, is it? Not at all. It's under the Tuscan uh, gloom. <laughs> <laughs> it's colder now than it was in February. And we haven't eaten outside for ages. So I think we need some comfort food. So I prepare something for you. I'm going to prepare tonight. Sausages with broccoli rape, or as they say in Tuscany, salsicce e rapini or in Naples they say salsicce e friarielli these are called in as we say in Italy called rapini in Naples they call the friarielli they claim they are the best in the world because they grow on volcanic soil and they're a bit more bitter 
and uh, I'd be loyal to my place. So, absolutely. So they are absolutely right. <laughs> but they grow everywhere. And they call, call so, uh, Cime di Rapa in uh, Puglia. And they called uh, uh, broccoli, I think, in Rome. But in, uh, in the States, I heard they called the broccoli rape. In the UK, how do they call them? I think they're called uh, rab or rab. rape and also um, turnip tops. Oh, cima di rapa, the time Cima di rapa, also. Yeah. And uh, they, they're becoming quite, quite popular there. Mm. Anyway, you got it. And they're very good to you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so whatever you call them, <laughs> they're nice. Okay. Then we got the sausages. We are in Tuscany, uh, we use the Tuscan sausage said. That means that uh, the, the meat inside uh, the pork is, uh, um, uh, I would say, finer, mm -hmm. is right word. But in Naples, they normally is much thicker. They cut it with the, the top of the knife, is done the, the by hand. They're so chopped rather than minced. Yes, uh, they call it uh, a punta di coltello. That's what it is. And uh, in Tuscany, they add spices as well. While in Naples, they only add uh, um, uh, fennel seeds. Here, they add fennel seeds and other spices as well. Also, some wine, I think. But um, you can choose the sausage that uh, you like and your local sausage. Absolutely. Should do this. And we also need garlic, some chili. And obviously, olive oil. Extra virgin. Extra virgin, yes, we all use extra virgin. To start, we need a shallow pan like this. Olive oil, not very much. And uh, sausages. Now we put the sausages in the pan. Olive oil, not too much. And we are going to brown the sausages. We put the sausages, there are several schools of salt. Um, I'm going to brown them first, and then I'm going to add some water on the top. Uh, other people, they just put the, the water straight away on the sausages there, and then they wait until the water is absorbed. Which is how your mother did it, isn't it? Yes, and uh, um, the difference is that I prefer sausages a bit uh, brown outside. Uh, my mother is not very brown, but they're still be good, but uh, it is the eye, as you say, the eye, look you all the other part, uh, where the eye enjoys the uh, vision. The plate is part. Yes. Now I'm going to piece the sausages, because the, the fat is getting warm, and it's coming out. I think now it's completely brown, so now we can add the water. more or less covered. And now we cook the sausages in the water uh, until the water is actually absorbed. It will take about uh, probably half an hour, 45 minutes. Uh, now I'm preparing the rapini. I cut them in small pieces and I select the uh, soft bits and I don't use the hard bits. And also I use the florets that I cut in smaller pieces there, so it's easy to cook. We get the rapini a rinse. We don't need to spin the rapini, we just leave them to drain for uh, five minutes. And now we are going to cook the rape. So I need garlic first, I'm going to remove the skin. Olive oil, we just cover the bottom of the pan. Garlic. A couple of chili, I don't break them otherwise uh, it becomes too hot, but if you like them very hot, we can add more chili so you can break them, you can grind them, whatever you like. Now I'm going to add the ferrari this way, ferrari is rapini. And we got to do what in Naples is called uh, a crudo, so that means a uh, roll. You just put the, the red here with the oil and we put the uh, a lid on the top and squish it. Now the rapini they go to shrink and use their body. Uh, we didn't put uh, 
sold in sausages because uh, the sausages themselves already had salt, they already had salt. But I'm going to put a pinch of salt in the lapini. I'll not turn them in the oil because I don't want them to burn at the bottom of the pan. And if it gets too dry, I'm going to add some water, but I probably don't need it. Put the lapina ready. So in a means we're going to add them to the sausages and feed them up. These sausages were a bit fat, so I first am going to remove some of the fat, but if you like it, uh, you can use all the fat you want. And now I'm going to add the rapine to the sausages. Well, the Tuscan sun has uh, at last decided to shine, at least to uh, at the end of the day. So um, we come outside to try and the smell is absolutely wonderful. And it's one of my favorite things. And also one of my favorite pizza toppings in Naples. Yes, it's becoming a classical pizza now. Pizza with salsicce and friarelli. I would say a neoclassical pizza. Uh, how is it? Delicious. We'd like to really thank uh, those of you who have subscribed to our channel. I can't tell you how much it means to us in this new venture. But we have noticed that uh, about 70% of people who watch this channel don't actually subscribe. And they are quite hard work, surprisingly enough, to make. And it would mean so much for us if you could subscribe as uh, YouTube would then um, notice us. And I hate to sound like I'm begging, but uh, please do, if you like these videos, just press that button and put that thumbs up. And if you'd like notifications, also press the bell. We would be so, so grateful. But thank you all for watching. Just to remind you, to subscribe is free.